We entered the rooms, which were built around the remains of the first monastery, the first well and the first fireplace. We crossed a room made of stone walls painted white. Straight ahead. We arrive at the well, which dates back to the first monastery. It was initially outside the walls, but was walled in when additions were made to the monastery. Approach the well and go to the left, towards the earth. This fireplace is where Mary of the Incarnation cooked her sagamite with the natives. Initially, it was located outside the monastery. See how big it is. They could have cooked a whole cow in there. Behind us, on the left, is the oven and stove room. Let's move on. On entering the room, go to the right. This stove, made by the St. Maurice Iron Casting Foundry, was used for heating. It is the very last one of this monastery. To the right of the stove is the old bread oven. This oven is so large that it could cook bread for everyone in the monastery. Unfortunately, it was also the source of the first fire of the monastery. Let us step back a few steps. Let's head towards the left door at the back of this room. We leave the room. We'll head for the same stairway by which we arrived. Let us take the long staircase on the left leading to the nun's wing. 